Hi there, everyone. Um, today I'm, I'm talking to you live, which is new for me. Um, I just wanted to show you some of my tri art paints. Um, in a haul video, uh, probably a couple months ago now, I bought these at Above Ground. And uh, one of my viewers, her name is uh, Shannon Sand, asked how I was liking the tri art because she was thinking about using them. And, you know, I, I love tri art products. I've used them mostly through um, art school, so mostly through college. And I, I love them. So I just thought I would show you guys um, a few of the different ones that I had, like a few of their different series, and just show you the difference between them so that if you're curious about them, um, you can see what they look like. And I just got a little bit of canvas board here for you guys to see what it looks like on canvas and I'm just going to show you the ones that I'm going to be comparing to. So these are the kinds I've had. I know they have other kinds. Um, I think I mostly ended up using this while I was in school um, like from these tubes. Um, it says that it's a series five. So there's that. Um, it's kind of falling apart but it's the only tube I have of it left. Um, so they also have like these, the ones in like the, the um, like the white plastic too, right? And <laughs> it's like falling apart. So they're very well used. They're well loved. Uh, and then I also have the ones that I got um, that I showed you guys during the showed you guys during the haul. And I haven't really gotten to use these yet, um, but I'm going to show you their consistency and whatnot right now. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with the one that I just bought. So you can see it in this one. What color is this? Um, it's Thalo Turquoise Light. And it's actually a beautiful, beautiful color. I was really excited to find these. I'm just going to put a little bit so you can see there. You can see it's pretty runny. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But, um, I'll show you here. Just grab my paintbrush. You can see it's very... You can see that it's watery almost, except it's not water. It's very pigmented. Uh, that's you know kind of what I like about just to show you. That's kind of what I like about a lot of their paints. You can, they do have heavier body ones, which I will show you right now. I find that the ones in these tubes um, are thicker. And I, so I would, these ones, the ones in these uh, shorter um, tubes. I would say a kind of in between a craft paint and like a heavy body paint in the sense that it's a lot of, oops. Yeah. Oopsie. Don't want to waste it, but I kind of came shooting out on me there. Um, so they're kind of in between the two, and I'm, I'm just about to show you how. So this is like the heavier, thicker paint, heavier body paint. And then I'm going to show you this one as well. So the ones in these tubes and these tubes are really kind of the same consistency. So I'm just going to show you here as well so you can see. That was more of the amount I was going for. <laughs> All right. So just so you can see here, like these are aren't moving around. Like when I move the camera around, they're not going to move. This isn't watery enough that it's it's gonna like leak down, but it is light. It's, it's a very light body paint. So see how heavy body this is. See how it's clumping up there? I hope that's uh, easy enough for you guys to see. It's very, it's very thick. Kind of rinse off my paintbrush a bit here, and then you can see this is the same. 
you get the same consistency out of this one. So these are these are very heavy body. Um, that is the one thing I like about Triart is that they're very pigmented. So no matter how much I'm kind of you know, no matter which one I'm using, they're very they're very pigmented. Okay, so I showed you those. Now I'm gonna show you what I mean by this being kind of between a heavy body paint and a and like a crafting paint. So this is just a cheap crafting paint. And I don't know, I probably got this from the dollar store. And you'll see it's like water. And it's quite um it's kind of transparent, I guess, if you like you can tell maybe I'm a little nervous. This is the first time I'm talking to you live, so um see it's quite transparent when you bring it down so you can see the canvas through there very easily and it's like water like if I move this well I didn't put enough on there but it will it will drip this this one so that's kind of what I mean by it's in between the two it's got the light it's more light body like say crafting cheap crafting paint and it's pigmented like a heavy body paint so like something like a goldies or something like that and I'm just going to say, I probably should have said this right off the bat, but I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just, it was asked about how I like them, and I just wanted to kind of show you the quality of them. I love their paint. I've never had a problem with them or anything like that. Again, I used them through school. Um, I, I, I played with a lot of different brands, but I always went back to Trier because, you know, it was affordable. And being a student... You know, you kind of need that. So I hope that helps you guys out if you're looking to play with the triars. I know they have a lot of other products. Um, I actually just saw one I was really interested in using, which was metallic, and I had never seen it before. So I'm hoping to get my hands on some of that so I can kind of play around and show you guys. But this is just their normal acrylic line, I guess. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments or you want to see any kind of reviews or you want me to test out something for you just so, you know, you don't have to do it for yourself. And don't forget to give me a little thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to see more, go right on ahead and check out some of those videos. There should be some on, the, on your sidebar or you can go onto my channel and there's lots of speed paints and stuff like that. There's a couple haul videos and I can't wait to show you guys some more. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.